5.8 million range Springfield Armory. One of my better shooting rifles right out of the crate from the CMP. A couple of years ago, I started shooting real wimpy cast loads out of it. Like I'm talking 1,000 feet per second, no gas check. It was running good. The bore's a little frosted on this thing. But um, I tried pushing them a little fast this next time around, and I got some serious letting. And I've been cleaning the hell out of it, trying to get the lead out. But um, I think I got it pretty good. And I don't use this too often, only when I want a super deep clean. I scrubbed it and scrubbed it, and then I put some sweet 762. You got copper, this stuff will, will show. But, um, it's been sitting in there for a good 10 minutes now. And I'm going to try to patch up the patch and see what comes out. If you ever really try to get your Garand barrel super clean, that not too bad. No blue really. So I definitely have all the copper out. This is one from earlier. You can just make out the blue a little bit. But this shouldn't have too much copper in it because I've been shooting, casting it for, I don't know, two years now. I probably have uh, about 100 rounds of low velocity plane base loads through it. But I like to try to find something that cycles the action. So I'm starting all over again. The bore is definitely a little frosty. If you're having trouble getting lead or your barrel's clean, try some of this copper chore boy or chore boy copper scrub pad and wrap it around an old brush. Uh, works good. Um, you'll be hard pressed to get your barrels really, really clean on these old rifles. The pores just keep on dumping out crud. I'm going to give it one last scrub and soak with Godzilla. This stuff's been working pretty damn good for me. Um, other than the old standard, old CLP, which I don't see much anymore. I was using this stuff forever. I might even just try this because it's almost empty. And uh, see if this pulls any more copper up. And we'll get back to that in about 10 minutes.